Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to run an Android emulator on your computer. This works for Windows and Mac and probably some other operating systems, but I will be showing it on Windows 8. So to get started, you go to developerandroid.com, developer.android.com, and you can just Google search for that. And once you get there, the website will be probably something like this. You go to develop, tools, then download on the sidebar here. There's no direct link, so it's kind of just tools, or I guess there is, but then you go to the sidebar, download, and download the SDK. Now, I already have it installed, so um, I'm not going to download it, but this is where you would download it. And once it or downloads, it's about 500 megabytes. Um, it's also a zip file, so you would um, unzip it with WinRAR or whatever program you want, and you would... Uh, just like yeah, unzip it to whatever folder you want. And once you have it done, it's going to be a file like Android, I think. And also, um, this one is the one you want probably. Just ADT, bundle, and then your operating system. Then you go in here, go to Eclipse, and then open this application. If you already have Eclipse, you can't use that because this is um, a modified version, as you can see, that um, is made for programming um, Android apps. Now you don't need any of this stuff. All you have to do to run the emulator is go up here to Android Virtual Device Manager. Um, then you'll see I created a device. So you would just go to New. It would pop up with this one. I'll name it something. Do the screen size and um, keep in mind that it has to fit on your screen, your computer screen. So I have to make mine pretty small. Um, the Android version. Um, then a camera if you want, you can set the webcam. Um, then the RAM, you don't want too much, but you also want enough so it runs the phone. So I found that 128 works for my computer, but it will be different if you have a better computer. Internal storage, I just put 100, and SD card 16, um, those don't matter really. And then once you've um, entered all the stuff, go to OK. Yeah, hit OK and then you'll see it pop up in this list. You just click on it and go to Start. Um, then press Launch. And it's... Um, let's skip that. You'll see that it pops up right here. And since my computer is pretty slow, it's going to um, take a while to boot up. And there is the boot screen. If it has trouble loading, then you can always go back to the settings and lower the RAM, um, and that should make it run better or faster. And while this loads, I'll just go over the controls. Since you don't have physical buttons, you have the volume buttons, the power button or a sleep button, and then you also have the home, menu, back, and search buttons. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see. What is it doing? Usually it goes to the lock screen. Okay, now it's at the lock screen and you can just drag it with your mouse. Click and drag. And this is from something else. And you can use just your mouse to navigate the different pages. There's the clock. You can also move the stuff like you would on any other Android phone. We have applications. Camera actually works, and you can save stuff to the SD card, the fake SD card, using like a webcam calculator, um, calendar, all your uh, apps, and widgets too. Um, menu opens up the menu like it would on a actual phone. You can go home, back. Well, not here, but. We also have the settings menu, and of course, um, I'm not sure if Bluetooth would do anything really. And some of the stuff, is, since it's on a computer, like battery, it probably doesn't matter. Display. Sleep. You can change the wallpaper and all kinds of stuff. Now we just go back, back. And we can always search if 
that's gonna work. Yep, search. Volume buttons. And to put it to sleep, you press the power button and it fades out. And press it again. It should pop up to the lock screen, yep. And so that is how you run an Android emulator on your computer. Thank you for watching.